am Dr. G.P. Govil and I am I am having B.Tech degree in Mechanical Engineering, M.Tech and Ph.D. from IIT Delhi way back in 2000 and since then I am working on this renewable source of energy. I am also the director of an engineering college, Ideal Institute of Technology, Ghaziabad, having more than, more than 2000 students actually and we undertake many projects on renewable sources as well. If our rural villages are being electrified, if they have the power, uh, it is it will it will do a miracle to them actually. The age of the persons, the life will increase, the work capability will increase, and the attitude of the persons will change actually. Yes. So they need to be energized by rural energy. It may be biomass, it could be solar, it could be wind actually. But the wind power and the solar power, they are not available all the time, you know. But biomass is such a thing which is available 24 into 7 actually. We are having a cows, okay, and we have the cow dung out of that. Now that cow dung can be mixed in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Otherwise we can have the vegetable waste, the cow dung or the jatropha, uh, this one, any of these things they generate or the human excreta also, okay, we can generate biogas actually. And once this biogas, then we can put in a biogas digester. Here we are having 20 meter biogas plant. It means that 20 meter cube of the biogas is being generated in 24 hours. Okay. So in this, it is a well type and it has a partition of wall actually. Okay. And overhead is a dome over here where biogas is collected actually. So we are having an inlet pipe, we are having an outlet pipe. So when the feed, cow dung or any other feed is being given, it will go to the bottom of the plant actually. And then there is a process, biomethanization process, where it is acidic and all these things there, where the bacteria will form, methanogenic bacteria will be formed and hence biogas will be produced actually. And this biogas is slowly, slowly being, utilized, being stored in this dome and after this digestion, the cow dung will become lighter and it will come up slowly, slowly, slowly actually and then falls on the other side of the wall actually and from there there is another pipe, there is a slurry which is very good as a fertilizer. We in India are having a smaller engines which are being utilized in the villages. Generally they use 10 kilowatt of the power actually. These smaller diesel engines can be converted into 100% biogas with the our biogas conversion kit. This can be uh, utilized in the villages and for a cluster of villages this is one thing. Yeah. Any place which is which is has a potential to generate a biogas, you can you can have a biogas plant and by the side have the have the generator of 3 kilowatt, 5 kilowatt, 10 kilowatt like that and you have the power, energy is there, you have to utilize it, simply it is there. You know. 